Hey there, this is a video that's going to briefly walk through how to get some summary statistics for, um, in this case, census blocks uh, based on their location, in particular, um, whether or not they're located inside a buffered feature. So the map that you're looking at here, and I'm doing this in QGIS 3.14, the map is of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and census blocks in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And our task is to figure out what's the population that lives inside this uh, pink buffered feature, which is a um, buffered version of parks or green space. It's pretty common kind of analysis, like access to green space kinds of kind of thing that one would do in GIS. We want to know how many people live inside this buffer compared to the whole area. So there's a couple steps we need to do here. First, we need to identify the blocks that are actually inside that buffer, right? So to do that, it's under vector research tools and select by location. You get a window that looks something like this. And we're going to say we're going to select features from that um, from the blocks that are within um, the parks buffer that we created. Now, one thing to note here is it's only going to choose things that are completely within, and that includes um, things that are that are right on the or doesn't include those things that are right on the boundary. So sometimes you'll try to do this, and I want to select things by location, and it says census tracts, and it will it will cut out those census tracts that touch the boundary of a county if you're choosing census tracts that fall within a county. So sometimes you have to give just a little bit of a buffer to the second layer um, in order to make it work. In this case, like there's really not much overlap between these parks boundaries um, here and the block boundaries, so we don't need to worry about that very much. So we're going to go ahead and click run on that. It'll take a second. It'll give you this warning message because this isn't a GeoJSON file. Don't worry about it too much. Um, it just means it's going to be slightly slower, but it still runs pretty fast. Okay, it's done. So we'll click on close. And if I get rid of the parks layer now, you'll see if I zoom in that a bunch of these blocks, it takes a while to render because there's about 100,000 features here, a bunch of these blocks are now selected in yellow. That's great. So now we have those blocks that are completely within those buffered parks features. Now we just need to find out what are the statistics about um, the number of people that live there. There's a few different ways to do this in QGIS. The first one I'm going to do is the fastest is to click on this statistics tool. Bloop, and you'll see that show up right down here. Make it a little bigger so we can see it. And we're going to say, okay, we want to take the blocks and let's select the there's a field in here called tote pop that's the total population there we go okay i just need to select the right one um so i'm going to click on tote pop and uh, one, the first thing you'll see is it'll give me the total population listed here so total population is the sum field it's the sum of the total population field you'll notice unhelpfully it's in scientific notation so we'd have to multiply by like a million um, it's 1.56 million essentially is what the population is works okay and then if I click on selected features only it will give me the population for just the selected features give it a second here it's gonna run and we get 1.31 million there we go that's kind of a rough estimate um, I think we're missing one decimal point here. If we wanted to get something that was a little more exact, uh, one other tool that we can use is in the processing toolbox. And if we look for statistics, we want um, vector analysis, basic statistics for fields. And if we do that, we can do basically the same thing. We'll choose Milwaukee blocks, selected features only, field to calculate statistics on, toad pop, and I'm just going to save a temporary file. You can save it. It saves as an HTML file that you can open in your web browser. I'm going to go ahead and click on Run. And you'll see it show up over here. So now there's a little output to a temporary HTML file. If I click on that, I get a very um, plain formatted file um, that, again, has a sum here. And this is the sum for the total uh, for the selected field. So it's 1,307,919 people live with inside that area. I could run that again for the total area, total um, not check the selected um, fields. So that would be, let's just do that real quick, just to show you what that would look like. So if I do this again and do Milwaukee blocks, but do not choose selected features only and do tote pop and run that, we'll get our denominator. So if we want to know what percentage of the population was in each one, I'll go ahead and close there, click on this. 
again, we get the output listed here. It's uh, 1,555,908. So we could calculate the percentage of people who live inside those buffered areas um, in that way. So it's a couple ways to calculate um, basic statistics. There's obviously other things you could look at there as well. Um, but hopefully that's helpful.